The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And that's a big 10 four. All right, I posted a chart of the German DAX up here, folks. You can see it's been in a downtrend. Uh, Jeff Hughes will be our guest, Alpha Insights. And as you know, he's a super bear. Uh, he'll be, uh, he'll be uh, live here uh, at the break at 9.30. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties, but uh, Nothing I can do about that, but uh, we'll move on to the next one here. I want to go through what happened yesterday, boys and girls, because, um, I, you know, we talked about this, the timing of some of these things, and I look at shorter-term patterns, but that's what really helps me to uh, understand what the heck is going on. And let's just walk up here. I'll, I'll walk this through. This is basically a, a chart. It's going to be the chart of the uh, E-mini S&P. Hold on, we'll get it right up here for you can see it. It's a, a four-minute chart because I wanted to be able to see over here the A, B, C, D forming. You see A, B, C, D right there at the bottom. Okay, now that was the first key that there may be a turn in the market. Uh, that happened to be correct. We were setting, uh, you know, right at that magical 
A, B, C, D number 4203. We went a little bit below it. Then we rallied 100 handles. And look how we did it, folks. We rallied up. We pulled back to a 382. We rallied back. We pulled back to a 382. I stopped it right there because I want to continue it today. If you would have measured that 382, it gave you a high of uh, 4303. And a high last night was 4305. So the ABCDs uh, don't work all the time, but when they do, you know, they work pretty good. Now, we're going to look at a couple others here because they're they're very, very important uh, today, or are we getting ready to be important, and that is the, uh, the crude oil has already surpassed it. Let's just double-check that one, too, because uh, the only way can, you can really determine what the heck the market's going to do is to see how it's working in the past. So what you want to do now is we're going to take a look at the crude oil, just like we did yesterday. We were looking for crude oil, you see, to come down to that level there, just a little bit below 96, around 95.90. The low was 95.40. And since that, that was the ABCD. You can see it right there, 95.40. Since that time, we've had a, a very, very strong rally. I'm going to get it up here because now what we've done, and I want to thank our friend Jeff over in Philly for alerting us to the fact that we have this really interesting pattern now coming into crude oil. In fact, we we are very, very close to it right now. Uh, I just noticed the limit minders went on and stuff. So but look what's happened. See, we have now a beautiful one, three, five pattern. I'm going to post that again just to show you where we are right in here. Now, folks, I, I don't care whether you trade with the trend or against the trend. The, the whole pro pr process of this is to try to make money off the doggone trades, and that's the that's the real key that uh, we want to be watching. So, hey, let's just take a look here uh, what that one three five pattern looks like when you uh, put the numbers in, and you can see it a little bit more clearly. If we get this up here to uh, move on to this right here, and you'll be able to see it hopefully, and we'll see what's happening. There you go. Now you can see the there's your one right up at your high. That was a sixty one percent retracement too. There's another 61% retracement, that's 0.3, and there's another 61% retracement, that's 0.5. Was it, is it going to work? <laughs> that's the secret formula, boys and girls. Nobody knows that because this thing, they're predictive in nature, but you're not going to be able to know all the time whether these things are going to work all the time. It just doesn't work that way. So you've got to remember uh, it's all about probability, and nothing less. That's the, the key to, uh, you know, what we're looking at here as we watch some of these things unfold here uh, this morning. Uh, I have my, my beeper is just about ready to go out. Well, that's where the order is going to be setting anyway. Hold on a second here. I want to uh, see how close we are. Ooh, we are close and almost is where we are. All right, let's move on here to, uh, oh, <clears throat> just a second here, folks. I have a slight difficulty due to the uh, allergy season this day. I wanted to bring another one uh, to our to your attention that was uh, sent to us by one of our friends up in Canada. It uh, comes from a uh, uh, research firm that I'm not familiar with, but I think it's worth taking a look at this chart because I, I see some of these things starting to turn down in the commodities, uh, well, especially the metals that you can see here. <laughs> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking about this commodity index. If you notice in the far right part of the chart here, you can see this really nice ABCD Gartley right here. And what that's doing is to look at all the things. And if you look at the wheat, corn, soybeans, soybean oil, and soybean oil has been the strongest, but uh, some of these are starting to turn over. We've got lower tops. They're, they're not rallying back like they should. They haven't broken down yet, but they're at least they're showing signs of a possibility of a top up in here. We've had $8 corn. Uh, we've got uh, $13, almost $14 beans, and, of course, we had $13 wheat for a while. But uh, that that's what it looks like. And, of course, copper, silver, uh, platinum, palladium, all of the metals look very, very negative. So uh, that's the reason behind uh, that chart. So I just bring it to your attention because as we see them unfold, we'll try to get into some of them uh, if we're able to. Now, the next one I would like to share with you, if you'll bear with me here one second, uh, is a relatively important one, and that is the, uh, hold on one second, boys and girls, there it is, right here. This is the one that's on the watch list big time. We have, uh, we've broken, well, hold on one second here. Got to get it up to make sure I can put it into this machine as corrected. Here we go. Now we're going to switch. We're going to talk about the euro and the U.S. dollar. This is the euro, folks. We have this monster A, B, there's your C point right here. There's your D point right here, and you also have another A, B, C, D in here. We're already below this point right here now, folks, so we're within about 100 pips of what should be one monster rally in the uh, euro, i.e., turn down of the dollar index. Somewhere around that 102, 103 level in the dollar index is what we're looking at. So it's uh, going along with A, B, C, D, the uh, news behind it is uh, insignificant to us because we just look at the patterns and let the charts, uh, you know, try to tell us, you know, where, where are we at? And it, it's a, and it's not an easy thing. You know, you like Mark Douglas always said, trading is simple, but it's not easy. So let's move on here. Since we're talking about the U.S. dollar, is to bring the U.S. dollar chart up. I want first. I'm going to show it to you uh, in a format of the daily. And as you can see, there's absolutely no reason here to be looking to be short here. We had that. Beautiful uh, butterfly, three dry pattern up here. We backed off very slightly. I mean, very slightly. We could only make a 
382 of the low right down here, and then we exploded to the upside. What that's telling us, and what that's telling us, is that if we go in and take a look at the weekly, and uh, that's telling us we're getting ready to go higher, which we already have been, this is where you get this price objective. You see we're way above the 78% level now, folks, so we're going to be shooting at these old highs back in here, and that's going to be the one that's going to be really interesting. The key is to watch the euro once we get down to 105 and break 105. We just broke 106, and so we are heading down uh, to that level, and that's why I think it's uh, important to pay close attention to that. Uh, also, if you remember, we were saying there was going to be a pretty high probability that, that we would be getting a rally uh, in the notes and uh, as you can see, this week we've had, uh, just get this up here, Jeff Hughes is going to be talking to us about these interest rates, so that'll be fun to watch. But you can see here we've made that bottom down in here. We've rallied uh, well over $2,000 now in the notes. Look at the look at the ABCD, folks. This is a weekly chart, and look at the target here. That That's the exact low right down here. I mean, <laughs> you can't make this up, but somebody does. Anyway, you can see the very large ABCDs in this, so we should get a really good rally. We've already got a, we've rallied more than uh, one, two, three. We rallied, um, yeah, we rallied four points in bonds now, one, 139 to 143. And so low, that's the first part of the rally. Remember down here, the whole world was bearish down here. And now what are we doing? We're having this really good rally. I, so that's all I can say. It just looks like it's had the rally and it was continuing, and we're going to find out what it's going to be doing. That's the main thing that we want to be watching as we go through looking at some of these. Okay, now the next one I want to uh, talk to you about is the T-bonds, because yesterday's action was a very strong indication of what was happening. Now, this this is not updated because we've had a very a strong uh you notice here on this after this ABCD was made last night we came all the way down here we dropped two handles down to this level right here almost equaling this and then what we've done is we shot up and we made a move above the 143 level 14307 I believe was a number the 382 on that move is 14303 that's on the daily so Pay attention to that number, folks. It's a doozy, and uh, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't, but all I can say is don't stand in front of it because, uh, you know, the whole world is one way, and when the whole world is one way, you want to be going the other way. That's the bottom line of what we're paying attention to here. Okay, now I want to do a couple other things here that I need to cover, and that is the – hold on just a second here. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. I had some questions about the Australian dollar from yesterday. I'll bring that up here uh, so we can see it. And uh, there we go. This was one of the trades from the, the uh, seminar over in London. You can see we had the beautiful ABCD up here. And bada bing, bada boom, you know, down she comes really hard. And it's continuing to drop below that number. So it looks like it could be a, a really big monster. But you'll notice here, we had this beautiful 382 retracement. Look at this little three-day retracement right at the 382. Those are the ones that are the real easy ones to do. They only, they only work about 65% of the time, but the payoff on these things, folks, is nothing short of spectacular, uh, just looking at them in a, in a chart format to, to make sure that you know, you're on the right side of the market. I covered the DAX. Oh, I did cover the, hold on one second, Larry, there it is. Got to try the Bitcoin again because this is where I think the uh, big fortunes will probably be made here. This is not a bubble under any circumstances, folks. Get this up here so we'll be able to see it here. Because if this happens, and I think it will, we've had the big ABCD here, and then we had the 3-8 rally up here to 48,000. We got down to 39,000 today. Today we're trading at 41,000. When we break below these lows right here, that means that we might very closely break this low. That would make this a large A. Your B would be here. Your C would be, where's my little mouse here? Your C would be right there, and your next D would be 
way down here, and that's the one you want to be buying. If you can get that Bitcoin down to 20000 by golly, that would be a really good, uh, really good trading up. We're following that one closely. We haven't traded cryptos yet, but we're certainly getting ready to if this pattern unfolds uh, the way that we hope we can. Stay tuned, folks. we got Jeff Huge coming up here uh, at the break. Always has great stuff. He's got about 12, 13 charts that I know you're going to like. It describes what's going on in the market, and I, I think, you'll, uh, think you'll enjoy it uh, quite a bit here. So we got a break coming up. Um, gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, folks, we're back. We're talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Uh, Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm great, Larry. Thanks for having me on the show today. Well, you're a real treasure to have on. You've been warning these folks about this market taking a flying Walinda, and boy, you've certainly <laughs> been right. Your first, uh, your first chart we're going to look at today is called the tipping point of what's happening with the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield. Do you want to tell the folks uh, what you're looking at here? Well, this is a 60-year history of 10-year Treasury yields. And as you can see, going back to about 1981 or about 41 years ago, we've been in a, you know, 
very well-defined downtrend that is now being challenged uh, by 10-year bond yields as we, you know, uh, traverse above that 270 level where the where the upper boundary of that trend line comes into uh, play. And our view has been for some time that 10-year yields could challenge three, three and a quarter percent this year. And uh, we thought it was going to happen over the course of around nine months, and instead it took only nine weeks. And so here we are dancing on the razor's edge. And the reason we're calling this the tipping point is simply this. Once we break above this trend line definitively, it now – uh, tells us that we're effectively going to put an end to the, bear, the bull market bonds. And I think that puts into play this uh, potential of closing above three and a quarter. And if we did post a monthly close above three and a quarter, it actually brings the 6% level into play. Uh, over wow. you know, a number of years, we're not looking forward to immediately gap up to 6%. But, you know, I think over this the next two to three years, we could be looking at 6% Treasury yields on the 10-year. Wow, that's terrific. Now, the next one that we're looking at is your 10-year Treasury yield targets. Uh, you're yeah, looking so, at a... Um, I, I actually um, you know, started trotting this chart out about uh, October of last year. We were a little bit early, but the pattern setup looked like it could... Uh, project to about three, three and a quarter. And, uh, you know, we went out with a 3% target saying, you know, we think this could, you know, occur in 2022. And, you know, it took about nine months to go from three and a quarter down to 170. And so my thinking was once we broke above 170, it could take about nine months to get to 3%. Well, again, as I said, it only took about nine weeks. So, you know, here we are. Uh, dancing on the razor's edge, and the Fed has indicated to us that they uh, are, are now in a position to raise rates really over the course of the next year pretty steadily. Wow, that's uh, really great. Now, uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is the market expectations. And uh, you want to tell the folks what you're looking at here. Yeah, so um, the CME group has uh, created this tool called the Fed Watch tool. And what it does is it gauges the probability based on street expectations, uh, based on survey data, and also Fed funds futures. And what they've done is they've come up with this probability matrix where um, every meeting going out to March of 2023, they've come up with a high probability of what the Fed's going to do. And so what Bespoke Investment did is they they created this chart using that Fed uh, Watch tool. And what it looks like is we're, we're basically on the path of 325 basis points of tightening from the March 16th meeting that just, uh, well, you know, we just passed. And so we could be looking at something in the neighborhood of around uh, a three and a quarter percent Fed funds rate by March of next year. And the thing that's really mm-hmm. important to me about this is the fact that if we look at the core PCE, which is the Fed's preferred measure of inflation, that came in at 5.4% the last time they reported it. They're going to update this on Friday. And uh, based on what we just saw from the CPI number and the PPI number, importantly, I think that what is reported on Friday will eclipse what we're looking at right now at 5.4%. And what it tells me is that two-year yields are going a lot higher. And if, in fact, the curve remains uh, steep. In other words, if it doesn't invert, then I think we could see this be the catalyst for that 10-year move to go well above the three and a quarter level. Wow, it's uh, truly amazing. I tell you, when I look at these charts, I see do so much work, and the, the thought behind it is really spectacular. Now, the next one we've posted here is the S&P 500 uh, trend analysis and. It's uh, quite apparent there's something rolling over up here. So uh, you want to tell the folks what you're looking at here? Absolutely. You know, um, valuations certainly matter in this market. And we're looking at a point in time where, you know, the market trades about 19 and a half times uh, forward 12-month earnings. And as rates continue to creep higher, it it gives the market um, an excuse to compress that multiple. And based on where the two-year Treasury yield's trading right now, 
We believe the multiple deserves to be about 14 and a half times. And that would assume about five multiples lower. And so if we actually translate that into um, what we're staring at right here with the, the S&P 500 trend, um, it looks like we're about to break uh, below the neckline of a head and shoulders top formation that's been developing over the last, you know, basically nine months or so. Um, you know, clearly the trend is negative. Clearly we're below the 200-day moving average. Clearly we've broken the uptrend channel, and we're now trading, you know, um, sustainably below that 4,300 level. We're near 4,200, in fact, on the S&P today. And, you know, I think with the um, – bevy of earnings that are due out today, tomorrow, and Thursday from, you know, what are some of the most important companies in the S&P 500? We've got Microsoft and Google uh, reporting tonight, Facebook reports on Wednesday, and then, of course, Apple and uh, Amazon on Thursday. And, you know, these four or five stocks represent 22% of the market capitalization of the S&P 500. And as anyone who's been paying attention to earnings reports knows that, you know, regardless of whether the numbers are good or bad, stocks are not reacting well. In fact, Tesla reported a blowout quarter last week and the stock was only up 3% on the number. It's now down 10% today. And so it's telling us that it doesn't matter what the earnings numbers are. The, The Fed has already initiated a process of tightening and removing liquidity from the market, and the market recognizes where the risk is. And so, you know, these these heavyweight stocks are a real vulnerability to uh, where the market sits today. Oh, wow. It's uh, truly amazing. Well, I, I just, you know, when I look at these charts and, and the way you describe them, it, it's, uh, it really makes a lot of sense. I, uh, I appreciate it very much. And we've got a break coming up here. Uh, in a little bit, yep. but since we've got a break, tell tell the folks uh, how how they can reach you. I've already posted that into the room. If those that are in the car might want to hear it, and then when you come back, we'll we'll cover some more of these things. Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, you can always find me on my website. It's www.jwhinvestment.com. But a really good way to find me is on Twitter. I'm at alpha underscore insights, and you can access our huge insights monthly investment newsletter it's free and um you know that's uh, something that we uh, uh, put out some pretty interesting stuff every month so if you want to follow our work that's an easy way to do it and if you really want to dig into our institutional research uh, you can always subscribe to that on our website yeah stay with us uh, jeff we'll be right back we got a short break with eric with jeff Alf. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Uh, Jeff, your next chart here about the rule of 20. I, I remember this vaguely, but, you know, I could you tell the folks this is uh, from my past and I can't remember what it refers to, so please uh, describe what you're looking at here. Sure, absolutely. So um, the rule of 20 simply states that uh, when the sum of the forward 12-month PE multiple and the rate of inflation are, are added together, they should equal about 20, okay? And so, you know, what we're looking at right now is we're looking at a PE multiple of around 19 and a half times on the S&P 500, and that would suggest that inflation's only half a percent, and we all know that that's not the case. And so as I was kind of alluding to before, you know, we're going to experience this, this compression in the PE multiple, and what this chart's really showing is it's showing that there's been a very tight correlation between the two-year Treasury yield and the P.E. multiple on the S&P 500. It's a, it's a negative correlation. And so when rates are going higher, P.E. multiples tend to compress. And so, you know, we're currently looking at something like uh, 260, 2.6% on the two-year Treasury yield today with the, tri with the uh, uh, multiple in the S&P at 19 and a half times. And based on this, this historical relationship, it's projecting that uh, over the next several months, that P.E. multiple could collapse down to around 14 and a half times. And so if wow. we were then to take that 14 and a half and add to it the 5.4 percent, uh, for example, of the, uh, the core PCE, the Fed's preferred uh, measure of, of core inflation, the sum of that would be 19.9, almost 20. And we suspect that um, that core PCE is going to come in a little higher on Friday. And so we're, we're going to be dancing around that. So my suspicion is that uh, PE multiple on the, on the uh, S&P will compress by about five multiple points. And that translates into a, about a 25% valuation haircut on the S&P. Oh, man. Hey, uh, th this next section is really important for me because I don't follow stocks very much, but you know, I do follow the FANG stocks, and uh, you've got a chart here on some of these. I'd like for you to go through those. Uh, the first one we're going to yeah. look, of course, is Google or Alphabet. And Go ahead, my friend. Yeah, so um, Alphabet reports tonight after the close, right? And, and as you can see here, this is a three-year weekly chart, and uh, Alphabet's already broken below its trend line. It's broke trend, and it's also broken chart support. And that's based on weekly closing prices. And so now we've closed several weeks, three weeks in a row now, below that chart support and trend support level. A relative wow. strength is tanking on this chart. And so it tells me, and I'm, you know, what we're looking at here is more or less, you know, kind of a, a classic pattern top formation of the head and shoulders variety. And this pattern is proliferating throughout the market. And what it's telling me is that if if Alphabet reports tonight, even if they report a good co-quarter, uh, the market's already decided that the stock needs to go lower for whatever the reasons are. Uh, but the multiple is going to compress. 
And unless they give us just blowout guidance for the next quarter or the next year, um, the market is not going to accept that as, uh, as satisfactory. And we will see the selling ensue, in my opinion. Well, Jeff, I, I respect your opinion. I remember three months ago, it was in, well, it was November, we, you had you on the show there, and uh, we had, uh, I think, eBay, not eBay, but uh, Netflix, you know, just near $700 a share, and you were talking about the over-evaluation of it. And I think it's had a sell-off. I'm not sure, but I think it's down a little bit below 700 now. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah, you would be very I don't mean to make any fun about it. I don't trade anything about the stocks, folks, or anything. All I'm showing you is that some of these things, uh, when they unfold, boy, they really, really unfold. Now, I wanted to uh, bring another one up, which starts with an A. We'll do the A's first. The next, this we're going to be uh, Amazon, and then we'll move on to uh, Apple, because all of these are beautiful chart patterns that uh, you can show the folks uh, the technical patterns that we look at so much. So go right ahead, please. Yeah, so so Amazon, again, has kind of something of a classic top formation. There's multiple tops in place, so it's not, it's not your true head and shoulders top, but we've clearly broken trend. We've clearly broken chart support. And, you know, it's telling us basically when they report the results on uh, Thursday, uh, they need to say something spectacular in order to get this stock to move back up. And, and the thing about Amazon is they've never failed to disappoint when they report. Um, it just, you can look at it quarter after quarter after quarter. Mm-hmm. Maybe one in ten the stock reacts positively. I would be very surprised if the stock goes up on whatever they have to report because there's really no good news to report here. Um, and that, that's kind of, um, you know, um, across the board. Wow. That, that's, uh, that's really good. Now, we've got uh, a couple others here that I – I hope we can get to because I, I really – next we're going to look at Apple because everybody likes Apple. And well, not – well, not what I know about products. I don't use an Apple product at all. Well, I actually have a little uh, – iPod. Uh, what those little stereo deals to put in your ear when you're walking around. Okay, here's Apple. That, that's a, Apple that's a really is neat. the most over-owned stock on the planet. Okay, every wow. single mutual fund has to own it. It's the largest – market cap stock in the S&P 500 at approximately 7% of the total market cap. And what we see here is a double top, a clear double top. The stock is broken trend. It's challenged what would be a chart support based on prior highs. And it's failed to make a new high on this, on this, you know, recovery rally. And it looks to me like it's, you know, going to challenge or retest that support level. And if we get bad news and, and, Mark my words, anything that isn't great news is going to be treated as bad news. Uh, and we already know they got supply chain problems up the yin-yang, uh, and that's because we've got a lot of yin and yang going on in uh, China right now. And at the end of the day, um, my suspicion is that Apple will resolve to the downside, confirming this double-top pattern, which, again, these patterns proliferate across all these big mega-cap stocks, um, you know, we'll look at Microsoft and, and some others as well. Wow, that's really good here. Let's get uh, Softy up because I, uh, I know that is such a big factor. In, uh, between Apple and Microsoft, I think you're, you're talking a huge amount of uh, – let me see if I can find it here. You had so many beautiful charts in here today that I uh, – uh, this one's going to be a little more difficult for me to find Apple. You know, I can't find the darn. I know it might be the first, the first uh, chart of the of the series. If you're the first chart, well, unfortunately, I can't find the darn thing. We got a break coming up here. Hopefully, I'll find it by the break, so we can. Ah, here it is. I found Softy. Hold on, just a second, folks. We'll get it right up here, so we can take a look at it. This is like you take those stocks. I think it's about fifteen or twenty percent of the. of the NASDAQ, and plus, uh, you know, the NASDAQ has been the weakest of all. So, okay, we've got Softy up, so let's take a look at it. Yeah, so so Microsoft is, is really the poster child for the whole thing. We broke the trend uh, back in December and put in this classic pattern top formation of the head and shoulders variety, and it looks like it's already resolved to the downside. I think anything other than stellar guidance will send this stock reeling. They report tonight after the close. 
Thank you, Jeff. We'll be right back after the break, okay? Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Okay, folks, we're back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, you want to tell the folks how they can reach you. Yeah, you can reach me at uh, jwhinvestment.com or on uh, Twitter at alpha underscore insights. I'm also on LinkedIn, uh, Jeffrey W. Huge CMT. Wow. Jeff, thanks for joining us. You told us a long time ago that uh, about three weeks ago we're heading down hard, and by golly, we're down 500 in the Dow. Uh, 400 in the e or in the Nasdaq. Wow, that's a huge move, one percent, and 80 points in the S and P. And we're going to have you on again soon. So please come and visit us in about two weeks. Okay? That sounds great, Larry. Thanks for having me on the show today. Always a pleasure. It is a pleasure, Jeff. Thank you so much. You're a stand-up guy. I really love it, Jeff. Huge Alpha Insights, folks. And uh, we have uh, tomorrow our guest will be uh, none other than Alfie Lavoy, hopefully of Air Software. He's got a big sale going on for those of you who like to do cycle research and stuff. So that's very important. When we when we started the show, folks, we were looking at the uh, June uh, crude oil to get up around that 101.60 level. Uh, so far, it's been 101.68. We're trading at 101.58, up $3. Remember yesterday, folks, it was down $5. We've rallied now $8 off the bottom. Nobody wanted it yesterday. Everybody wants it today. So uh, be really careful in here, folks, because there's really interesting patterns forming in some of these things that look, uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but when they do, they work very well. Also, keep an eye on the bonds, folks. Uh, uh, we had some really interesting patterns. We weren't able to cover those today, but we've been talking about them well, well over, uh, you know, two weeks now to see this strong rally occurring 
and, and that's exactly uh, what we've going on. So I hope uh, all of you have a wonderful day. Uh, I think I have about half a minute or something like that before the end of the show, but live every day in an attitude of gratitude, uh, and may God bless. And uh, I think everything's going to be okay no matter what happens in the world because we think positive here at TFNN. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks, with Alfie Lavoie, and uh, may God bless.